Welcome to this Smith & Nephew Digital Education Module on Time. This forms part of a series of modules you can access to develop your knowledge and understanding around wound care. My name is Lisa Battersby, Complex Wound Specialist at Smith & Nephew. Today we will be discussing time. By the end of the module, you will be able to understand what is meant by the term wound bed preparation and understand the background to time and what is meant by this. Wound bed preparation focuses on all the critical components, including debridement, bacterial balance and management of exudate and takes into account the overall health status of the patient and how this may impinge upon the wound healing process. The ultimate aim is to ensure formation of good quality granulation tissue leading to complete wound closure either naturally or through skin products or grafting procedures. Local management of a non-healing wound involves an ongoing debridement phase, management of exudate and resolution of bacterial imbalance. Assess patient well-being and the wound is the first step in a wound management plan. A comprehensive patient and wound assessment is understood as an important part of practice. The first step in wound bed preparation is treatment of the cause and patient-centred concerns. The overall health status of a patient has a significant impact on the wound healing process. A general medical history, including a medication record, is invaluable in identifying causes that may prevent wound healing. The TIME acronym, developed in June 2002 by a group of wound care experts, was first published in 2003. It provides a framework for a structured approach to wound bed preparation. The concept was adopted from a principle used in plastic surgery to ensure optimal preparation of wound bed before split thickness skin grafting. It is a practical guide to wound management that relates clinical observations and interventions to the underlying wound pathology in each of four areas. In an effort to evolve the time principles of wound bed preparation, a group of international experts consisting of physicians, nurses and scientific researchers developed a time clinical decision tool which is easy to use, accurate and practical. The tool guides the user through patient wound assessment and reassessment to ensure the most appropriate interventions are in place. They used an A, B, C, D, E approach. It is important to identify that the patient has the ability to heal and that healing is the goal. If healing is expected, it is important to assess the patient, their environment and the wound. Next, bring in specialists as needed to control or treat systemic factors such as nutrition, diabetes, vascular compromise or others. Decide appropriate treatment by using the TIME acronym to identify and prioritise barriers to healing. Lastly, during the course of care, evaluate the results of treatment. The clinical observations and interventions relating to wound bed preparation are grouped into four areas, all of which need to be addressed at each wound assessment. Tissue focuses, focuses on assessment and debridement of non-viable or foreign material on the surface of the wound. Infection, inflammation, is the assessment of the etiology of each wound, the need for topical antiseptic and or systemic antibiotic use 
to control infection and management of inappropriate inflammation unrelated to infection. Moisture balance. This is the assessment of the etiology and management of wound exudate. Edge of wound is the assessment of non-advancing or undermined wound edges and the state of the surrounding skin. To check your knowledge and understanding, try and answer the quiz questions. You have now completed this module. Take the time to reflect on how you will take some of what you have learned and apply it to your daily practice. Please click on the link to go to the full 15 minute version of this presentation. Once completed, you have the opportunity to download NMC revalidation forms. Thank you for your time today. Please remember to look at the other sections to access additional modules to help you on your learning journey.